Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Welcome to Drinking Bros Sports Companion Show, Dan. There's a lot of weird shit going on today. You're healthy. You're healthy, which is uh, not what I can say about most of the players in the NFL right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, the Jets lost Darno because he was making out with girls on a bus. <laughs> and, uh, was it gr- who was it, Girls on Ice? Girls on a bus, I think. Ah, no, I made, I I made that Girls up. on Ice, and I was like, even better. Well, yeah, on ice, that would probably make it worse. Uh, now Simeon's out, too. He's out for the season, actually. Yes, yes. And now he... they're stuck with a third-string guy and no backup until they sign somebody. They're probably going to have to sign, uh, I don't know, who's left. On uh, whoever isn't Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. <laughs> so... How, I mean, they might have to sign him. Like, who else is out there that, that's a free agent quarterback? I, I, I don't know. I mean, I mean... This is so crazy to me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this off to you because this is breaking news that uh, uh, Cam Newton uh, is also questionable. After he aggravated the sprained left foot injury he suffered during the, th- the, the third preseason game. Yep. I was watching that game, and he ran up the, the middle. Yeah. Why he's running in a preseason game is, is beyond me. Uh, I don't know why that guy does any of the things he does, to be honest, including his choice of fashion. He looks yeah. like an idiot. Uh, fucking idiot! Uh, I'm I'm all done with Cam Newton in this life. I think uh, Will Greer's the backup. Yeah, we'll see about him. He's he's fire away. Yeah, we'll C- see. it can't get any worse. No, it definitely. And you're can't. not going to win a championship with Cam Newton. So who go- who gives a fuck? No. I'm gonna I'm gonna read you off this list. Okay, Drew Brees. This is what happened this past week. Drew Brees out six to eight weeks with a broken thumb, could be torn ligament. Going to see a specialist, so that yeah. could be longer. Yeah, it could be worse. So it's not going to be any better, but it could be worse. We don't know. Ben Roethlisberger out for the year, gone. I don't know if he returns. I don't know if either one of those guys returns. To be honest, it uh, depends on the injury. That's that's Breeze throwing hand, right? Yes. And he's five foot ten. He's not a big guy. He probably has normal size human hands, mm-hmm. not big mitts like most quarterbacks do. So if his ligaments in his thumb are fucked up, he might be done. Yeah, not, not by choice either. So he's gone. Man, I would lean towards saying he might be back rather than out simply because Teddy Bridgewater sucks. I don't know where this Teddy Bridgewater hype train has come. I don't know. But either. to me, that other kid who's back there, um, that Taysom yeah. little guy. Yeah, yeah. I, like every time he's on the field, he's been electric. Yep. Um, I'd like to see him play. I don't know what the Teddy Bridgewater fascination is. I don't know either, but Drew Brees in January turns 41 years old, man. Yeah. And look. I get it if he doesn't come back. Yeah. Uh, Roethlisberger, I get it if he doesn't come What's back. What's he, 39, 38, 39? 38 now. Um, and look, people are really excited about that Rudolph kid as his backup. In particular, the players. Yeah. They were all like, look, man, he's a fucking gamer behind the scenes. <laughs> and he wants to win in every single practice, every single down. And we believe in him. So the Steelers are all in on him. And this will lead me to the next one. Not only are they all in on Rudolph, but they brought in Minka P- Fitzpatrick Traded a first round pick for him, which would have been your new co- quarterback. Yeah, I would assume that uh, uh, the front office has to believe in this kid. Otherwise, they wouldn't to. draft or they wouldn't get rid of a first rounder to bring in. I mean, look, that he's one of the best defensive players in the league. Mm-hmm. So obviously, they're going to, I mean, that's a smart move. But it, it is, he, he's a corner. I mean, look, your franchise guy is your QB, yeah. right? Unless you're all in on Rudolph, which again, they have to be. That's yeah. the only way I can make sense of this Minka Fitzpatrick trade. Um, otherwise, you don't do that when there's so many great quarterbacks in the draft next yeah. year. Uh, Jalen Ramsey requested trade. Obviously, Jalen has been on the show. We like Jalen Ramsey a lot. Um, here's, the, here's the deal with him. Uh, I heard, I don't remember if it was, uh, God, who the fuck was it? It's uh, a former player on ESPN. Mm-hmm. Was it Ryan Miller, maybe? Um, I don't remember who it was, but he was talking about how the – oh, no, it was um, it was uh, Steve Young. Who was okay. it? Okay. I don't so remember. Steve Young's on, on, on ESPN. Yeah, yeah. Well. I think it was Steve Young, and he was talking about how the NFL is becoming the NBA with these guys requesting trades and demanding out of stuff and holding out and stuff. Look. He's right. Usually I would agree with that, but he was like – he made the point that, like, none of these great players want to stay on bad teams anymore. Like, why the fuck would they? Your Your NFL career is short as fuck. Yeah. And honestly, the NFLPA sucks, and these guys don't get guaranteed money. So you've got one, maybe two contracts, if you're lucky, that are going to make you a lot of money in that league. And you're not going to make it in Jacksonville when 
they won't give him a new deal, and they fucking aren't going to be good. Yeah, and look, the way he's played this year, yeah, he might so far be the defensive player of the year. Yeah, like he's been great. Uh, the the problem with Jalen Ramsey is this: the shit that he does off the field makes it hard to give him a new contract, or else I think he were, he would have already gotten it. To be honest with you, yeah. Um, secondly, he is in the last year of his deal in mm-hmm. Jacksonville. Not only do you have to trade for a, a, probably a one is what they're asking for right now yeah. for Jalen Ramsey, but then you're going to have to give him a, a fat ass contract after that. And who could take that on to me, the team that, that could do it and he would fit in great with is the 49ers. Uh, they're currently on a wildly hot streak with a mediocre quarterback in Garoppolo. I'm still not sold on Garoppolo, but Richard Sermon seems like he's back. <clears throat> yeah. He's, he's, he's he looks great. Pretty good ball this year. Yep. Uh, Matt Breida uh, uh, and those guys have picked up the slack for uh, that Tevin Coleman injury. Yeah. Um, even that, that Mostert kid looks pretty yeah. goddamn good. The 49ers have. Dante Pettis is good. I mean, they, they've got George Kittle. They've got a Kittle, lot of yeah. pieces on that team. Um, if Look, if Garoppolo can come back from the, the, the MCL and not look like a little bitch. Yeah. Hey, they, they, they might have a, a shot. Um, I'm not saying against the Patriots, but uh, they might have a shot at a, at a decent playoff run. I mean, I could see a team that relies on defense, like the Bears, making a move for somebody like him too. Just because, look, uh, Trubisky's not going to get any better. I think he fucking sucks, to be honest. I don't think he is a franchise quarterback. I think he'll be gone out. Like, he'll be a backup quarterback within the next two years. I am I'm slowly getting off the Trubisky yeah. train as well. I think he will be a backup, and just maybe even next year we'll see yeah. how, how their season goes this year. But I could see a team like that kicking out a first-rounder and bringing in that. Because, look, if you have two of the best defensive players in the league, mm-hmm. like two legit year-to-year defensive player of the year guys on your team, then it doesn't really matter how good your offense is, honestly, because no one's going to fucking score a lot of points on that team. All you need at that point is somebody that can put up maybe 20 points a game and you'll win. That is so much money to spend on defense, man. I, it I don't is, know. But it's worked before, and it, it's worked a number of times. 100%. Like the Ravens, for example. 100%. They spent more of their payroll. Look, it was if you took Flacco out of the conversation back then, their payroll was like 65% defense. Yeah. So well, look, they're not paying anybody on the offensive side of the ball. Not um, now, even. I know, and not at all. Both of their fucking. Well, Ingram is making a little bit. He's making like a veteran minimum almost. Yeah. And uh, homeboy, the quarterback's making like his. He's still in his rookie contract, right? Yeah. He's like in second year of yeah, his rookie yeah, contract. Yeah. So they're not spending. And, well, and Mark Andrews is on his rookie contract. All their premium players over there are fucking young. Young. So uh, I could see them making a move for somebody like that too. Like, who are they gonna? Think about the way that the Ravens have performed this year mm-hmm. with Andrews and and their quarterback. And uh, look, man, I could see them making a move for him too. Because what are they going to do with a first round draft pick, except for maybe get a linebacker, maybe get a great receiver to complement that offense? Yeah, uh, for me, I would give that up for Jalen Ramsey. I would too. I, look, I'm not mad at this Minka Fitzpatrick trade either. Uh, if you're if you're the Steelers, and let's say you do love this Rudolph kid, and he ends up being the the heir apparent to Ben Roethlisberger, yeah. right? You've got to contend with Pat Mahomes yeah. for the next 15 fucking years in the AFC. You've got to start stacking up defensive yeah. backs because you're fucked with that guy. That guy is ste- the new Steph Curry. I mean, those are your options, NFL. right? Like, do, you're, not gonna, you're probably not going to go find organic talent to be able to compete with them offensively. So you have yeah. to do something on the defensive side to slow them down. It makes sense to me. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Jones. Uh, I mean, this is all within this week. Yeah, Eli- Daniel Jones has been named the starter – of the New York football Giants. What week did I call for this? I thought I said it would be week three or four. You did, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, and you're, you were, you were yeah. right on the money with this. But I don't think anybody's surprised by this either. Eli's not been good for a while. I am, and I'll, and I'll tell you why, right? I thought this draft choice was shitty. Um, he comes in, ends up having a baller preseason, which I was not expecting. Uh, Danny Dimes is what they call him in New York, which is... Well, much for me, but uh, let's, let's was, have him play one game. It was first. preseason, yeah, <laughs> preseason. Um, Danny Dimes was trending on Twitter today, and I was like, "You got to be kidding me, Giants fans, man! Fucking welcome to desperation." Look, it's they funny. Have, Giants fans are delusional about their team, and Jets fans just want to kill themselves. Yeah, it's very bizarre how the whole New York scene's working out. Very, right very now. bizarre. Um, <clears throat> Sam Darnold, mono. Speaking of the Jets, out. Yeah, Simeon is backup out. Dead. I don't know who the third string guy is. 
Uh, I can't even remember his name. I watched him play last I, night. I watched it too, and I, I, I can't remember that guy's name. For it the looks like he was almost he was either sacked, hit, or almost hit on every single fucking every play, play he ran. Just gave, give the ball to Le'Veon Bell every single yeah. down and do pray, and pray for the best at that point. And you could tell they started doing two things. They flattened out, so they pulled out of a cover two defense, yeah. and they stacked the box, and then they fucking brought their strong safeties up in like a fake safety blitz just to spy on that fucking dump pass to Le'Veon Bell. So oh, yeah, yeah, if yeah. teams play like that moving forward, the Jets are f- even more fucked than oh, they are boy. on paper. Well, we'll get to that on, on this spread on mybookie.com <laughs> soon enough because it appears as if that's what's going to happen, according to Vegas at least. Uh, Jamal Adams, uh, superstar for the Jets, took the team um, and uh, <laughs> and everything about playing football off of his Instagram. Um, he is <laughs> apparently all done with the Jets. So uh, uh, I don't know if that means he wants to be traded. That is now trending right now. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't know what to say. Um, my other biggest takeaway, too, from uh, last night's game was because we let, look, that was our Fight Club game of the week. Yeah. Um, obviously, we picked these games on Tuesday. Yeah. We did not know that Darnold was going to have no. mono. So and by the way, I... You lost, but I'm not, I'm not going to... Well, I still put 500 uh, against the Jets last night. Oh, yeah. Once, Before once the Homeboy was out with yeah. mono. Yeah, yeah. And I look, I, I, I put a grand. I, yeah. I get too drunk on the cruise. Put a grand on that game. and Because and, we post all these bets yeah. in Drinking Bros Sports. Um, so you can go there and actually see our actual physical betting slips. And yeah. uh, whoopsies, luckily it came true. Uh, but but here was my my takeaway from that. As, as shitty as the Jets are and will continue to be, I did not think the Cleveland Browns looked great at all. No, it's funny. Uh, uh, the guys were talking about it on ESPN this morning, and and fucking Greeny, Mike Greenberg got all butt hurt. He's like, look, they won the game. Like they looked like shit, Greeny. They looked like shit. They looked terrible. Like and ba- Baker Mayfield had what? 300? There were four. There were four passes. One to OBJ where he was wide open, like on the fucking five yard yeah, yeah. line, and he had two guys near him. But it's OBJ; he could probably have scored right there, and yep. he overthrew him by a lot. Yeah. Um. And I think to me, that's that's one of the things that Mayfield's going to have to learn. He's a short guy, mm-hmm. and he can't see over six foot four guys. There was the a lot line. of tip balls at the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Um. Out of that three hundred yards, and and look, I uh, Greenberg was pissed off about that. Of like, well, he had three hundred yards. 89, 89 of it was one play. It was one play yeah. to OBJ for a Come touchdown. On. Great. That knocks you down to 210, and then you yeah. had a couple other ones. Yeah. But other than that, man, he looks like shit. He looks a little lost, as if you know the sophomore slump is kicked in. and um, Yeah, but he's, he's... And the defenses are switching up their coverages, and he's sure, not yeah. seeing on film what he thought he was during the week. No, but he's also running a much more complicated offense than he was last year. He's got two deep threats instead of one, and that changes every single play you run. I, I, I'm, I'm still in on Mayfield. Give him some more time. Let's see what happens there. Mm, um, I, I, I don't know. And uh, Look, do me a favor real quick <laughs> and pull up uh, the Cleveland Browns schedule. Yep. If you're a Browns fan, I would be very, very oh, worried about... The, the next six games they play, I know this just from are reading last brutal. night, are, are against teams that are all 2-0 and All 2-0. Right and and yeah. Uh, one of them is the Patriots. One of them is the Rams. Let's see. Where is it? Um, they've, got, they've got some fucking rough, choppy waters. Man. <laughs> just like we did. Yeah, just like we did on the Drinking Bros cruise. Um, by the way... Bet with us or against us on mybookie.com. Promo code Drinking Bros doubles your deposit. We've been on fire the last two weeks. I mean, absolutely on fucking fire, dude. NFL, 7-2 and two yesterday. Uh, college football, only missed three. I'm going to go through those real quick while you look up Cleveland's roster yep. of who I missed. Um, I took the Clemson game. That was the 28-point the, the spread. It was a big one. Um, they, they ended up covering Bama. Oddly enough, they pushed on that twenty-five point spread. Yeah, uh, which was weird. I heard. I heard though that it went it went up to twenty-six and a half on the day of the game. Obviously, we were on the cruise for that. So, again, if you're betting earlier in the week, you can get some better deals uh, than you might later on. But you risk um, injury, obviously, yeah, yeah. Uh, or duh. Let's say you were betting the Jets in last night's game, and duh goes out with fucking mono, then you're screwed. Uh, Georgia, look, that spread was 53. They won 55-0. to zero. Um, 
the rest of these came true. Oklahoma covered. We called that Ohio State stomped. We called that uh, Auburn smashed uh, Florida. I told you to take this Florida Kentucky game. You were not a fan of it and did not want to take it. Um, it well, no, up, I I bet it. Oh, you did. I, I just thought it ended up being a push. Yeah. So well, it, I, I took it at twenty five. I well, hold on. What did I take it at? Let me see. The spread, spread was eight. Florida versus Kentucky. Yeah, I got and, it at seven uh, and a half. Look, there was a lot of these games, and I'm not going to even front. I mean, lost, I think, three top 25 games and, and two NFL games um, that we bet on. I'm not going to front. This Florida game in particular was a last-minute touchdown where the guy mm-hmm. ran up the middle. It was like a 90-yarder. That's the only reason they got to eight to, to even push in that. I got that game at seven and a half later in the week. Oh, you did? Yep. Eh, it doesn't surprise me. Um, I don't know why I even took it, to be honest, but it worked out. So a half point Holloway, that one. I, with me, though, personally, I, I just I didn't think – like, Kentucky's not a fucking football school. Um, I thought they were all done, but uh, they, they look pretty decent. I just think um, Florida sucks, to be honest. Isn't Franks hurt now? He got hurt, yeah, yeah. in that game, which is why that, that game was, <laughs> was probably closer. But uh, that Trask kid ended up looking pretty decent. Yeah. And, and he, you know, ended up being a comeback win because they were down most of that game. Uh, Texas covered over Rice, which we said was going to happen. Yep. Uh, Penn State Pitt again rivalry game. Yep. Um, a lot closer than than possible. Called that Oregon refused to bet on it. Um, luckily there was no spread on on Montana. So the one the fucked. one I got fucked on was Temple Maryland. Um, Temple Maryland fucked me. So here were the losses. Temple Maryland fucked me as well. Yeah. Uh, I and did then, call Arizona State beating Michigan State. Was oh, proud yeah. of that call. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Iowa. Um, the spread missed was two. it by one. Yeah, missed should have bought one. a fucking point on that one. Yeah, thanks, Craig Dulesky. He Piece was on the cruise shit. with us though, so all is forgiven uh, <laughs> with him. Maryland, I rode with a hot hand on Maryland, and uh, they got beat. They looked at, at home very bad I mean, at, by Temple. Yeah, they yeah. looked bad. Um, uh, look, te- I will say this, and I said it on the show last week: Temple wasn't a bad school. I yeah, thought yeah. that spread was fine where it was, but they just didn't show up. Yeah, uh, and Boise then, State played Portland State. There was no spread on that. All right, here here was a, a a bad loss for me. Was Central Florida and Stanford? Hawaii. Oh yeah, Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh, I, I actually uh, I I thought that what was it twenty one and a half was the yes. spread on that one? Yep. Yeah, I thought that was about right. But thirty two, man. They yeah. got house. I I don't. <laughs> I can't figure out this Washington team. Um, look, they got fucking beat soundly the week before yeah. and then hawaii's look pretty goddamn decent for being yeah. Hawaii. um but uh i got house on that one i rode the hot hand on the usc game yep. um, they ended up losing and then um uh there was one you mentioned uh was uh, it ufc stanford yeah you ufc stanford yes or I UCF, I, UCF, I took, ucf rather i took uh Yes, I took Stanford with the points on that one. Same. And uh, and they lost. <laughs> but uh, the rest of the top 25 was great. Um, yeah, Oklahoma-UCLA was easy. I think that was... Yeah, it was... They won by like was 35 easy. points or yeah, some shit. It was like 24. That. Yeah. Um, look, Oklahoma's looked great this year, man. Yeah, they all, all the way around. Uh, in these week two games here... Um, man, we dominated. Uh, I refused to bet that Buccaneers-Panthers game, thank God. Yeah, fuck that. Um, boy... I, I'm I'm glad we didn't even get to see it. Not one. No one wanted to see that. that game. No one wanted to see that. 49ers dominated. Uh, we had that. Um, they're they're fucking looking pretty good. I don't. Know, I don't. I still don't know how. Um, I mean, look, he had he had three TDs. I don't know if the because the Bengals are shitty. So I don't yeah, want to. Yeah. I'm going to reserve judgment on on what I think the 49ers can possibly do this year. Uh, Lions over the Chargers. I was proud of that. I called I called uh, Lions over the Chargers. Um, the team I can't figure out, uh, I lost on was I lost by a point. Was uh, was Green Bay? Yeah, at, uh, against the Vikings. Aaron Rodgers still <laughs> looks like shit to me. Yeah, I'm not even starting him in fantasy football. I don't know how they're winning games. I, I don't either, and I can't figure it out. The, like the Packers went scoreless in the second half of that game. Yeah, yeah, they look bad, and their so, defense is not all that great. No. So why aren't teams scoring against them? That's and Aaron Rodgers, there's something. He looks too thin. Yeah. Something looks physically wrong with him. I can't put my finger on it. I have benched Aaron Rodgers in all fantasy leagues, and uh, I've been starting Josh Allen and fucking Lamar Jackson. 
Well, Lamar Jackson's lighting it up. So, but that's crazy to me. I yeah. still don't think Lamar Jackson's a, an NFL quarterback. Week after week, though, he keeps proving me wrong, and it's like, all right, one of these days I'm going to have to fucking eat a dick on it. But uh, he, there's something I think something maybe has clicked with him. And my goal, so what I'm going to do later this week because I haven't had time because mm-hmm. I've been on the cruise, I'm going to look at game tape of him versus Mahomes from last year and see if he didn't pick up some of the stuff. Maybe. Because there's two plays that I have seen uh, Lamar do so far this year that were very, uh, they were very like similar to what Mahomes did last year. Right. Like a, it was a play where he had an open guy, and instead of throwing it to him, he ran towards him to pull the defender in a little bit more, and the guy got deeper in the field, and he threw the ball to him, and he got probably 15 or 20 more yards than he would have before, and I was like, that was a fucking smart play. Yeah. And it reminded me of the way Mahomes plays, because he threw it on the run, a little sidearm, right. which he doesn't always do. I'm like, what the fuck just happened here? Look, if you're going to copy somebody, Mahomes is not the worst guy to fucking copy. Yeah, man. Because they're very similar. Look, Lamar doesn't have the same arm strength, not even close, actually. No. But they both are fleet of foot. Yes. So... Um, and if you can be a good decision maker and throw those medium range passes, then you can fucking do. Uh, clearly, you can do some stuff. You can do some stuff in the NFL. We'll see how far he goes. I'm yeah. st- again, still not sold on him. Colts Titans, we refused to bet, which was smart. Uh, that ended up being a 1917. Game. I just didn't want to watch. That was I the... didn't either, man. Um, uh, that Patriots spread. F- you know, look, we don't bet. We don't bet spreads in the NFL of 19 and a half. <laughs> There's no way they did cover. Yeah. Um, you know, a buddy of our, our Benny, who was on at the top of the show here tonight. Yeah. Um, he hit me up and was like, dude, I'm taking that first half of uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of, uh, of this Patriots game. And I was like, look, man, still a lot of points. Didn't matter. 43-0. Dolphins are not going to win a game this year. I don't think so. I don't think. I, I genuinely believe they will not I, I don't know how they would. Year. I don't honestly. either. And they're trading everybody. So yeah. it doesn't matter anyways. They're not going to have a fucking team there. Uh, Bills over Giants, I called. I, look, this Josh Allen kid, man, he was my favorite. Yeah, he was my favorite in last year's draft. I, I know everybody was on Baker. Um, I don't know what he's going to end up being. He's he need, definitely needs some talent around him. Yeah. He is the opposite of what the Browns have. He has no wide receivers yeah. there, um, except for Cole Beasley, who he's throwing ninety balls a game to. Um, and then he, he just keeps running. Yeah, just keeps he's he's running <laughs> for almost as many yards as Lamar Jackson is. This yeah. guy. This fucking white kid. So he's running for his life, and the, and, and it's working. The Bills are two and zero. Oh. You and I wanted the Bills to be good this year, and yeah, I've, just I've, keep it going, Josh. I've Allen. been betting on the Bills. Carry, just carry this. Carry it. Uh, Rams over the Saints. That was a good call. Uh, um, Seahawks. Yeah, yeah. Rams Saints was fine. Seahawks over the Steelers. Uh, I had the Steelers, but obviously. Roethlisberger got hurt in this yeah. game. He was gone. You can't really plan for that. I thought the Mason Rudolph kid looked great, though. Um, there could be something to it, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I might pick him up off the waiver wire in a couple of my leagues we'll see, just yeah. to have him on the bench because <clears throat> everybody else seems to believe in him. And uh, they, you know, against a pretty good Seattle defense, man, they put up 26 and it wasn't bad. So, uh, look, that fucked me personally, but I, I can't do anything about Roethlisberger getting hurt. Uh, Cowboys over Redskins we had, uh, Ravens at the Cardinals. Uh, we took the Cardinals with the points. Yep. That was too many fucking points too there. Many. Again, that's why we don't like these big, big points spreads. Uh, Texans-Jaguars. This was surprising, man. 13-12 to 12 in this one. Um, yeah, look, the Jacks showed up on defense. That's all it was. They have a great defense. Yeah. They, they have an unbelievable <laughs> defense, but what I'm surprised is that uh, with all of the offensive weapons that Deshaun Watson has at his disposal – uh, that they couldn't couldn't hang at least twenty on these guys. Well, I took the uh, I took the under in that one. That's a twenty five point because I didn't think the Jacks would score total any points. in that fucking game. Yeah, uh, Chiefs Raiders. We called uh, Mahomes is is Steph Curry. Yeah, he's, he, the, he, he's the in my opinion is the best player in the NFL. It it actually was reminiscent of the twenty sixteen seventeen uh, Warriors because they played about a half and then the rest of it is fucked around. It's crazy, man. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, Bears Broncos, man, that was a that was an ugly one. Um, yeah, we said not to bet that one no, because they're, both I, of those teams are too unpredictable. I think Trubisky is not an NFL quarterback. Sixteen to fourteen, he, yeah. they still cannot score on offense. Uh, Broncos do have a good defense, but yeah. hey, man, whatever. Yeah. Uh, Saints Rams, uh, I I picked the Rams in this one. Yeah, going away. Obviously, I didn't know Drew Brees was going to get hurt. Either way, though. Either way, a win is a win, and yeah. I will take it. Uh, here's where here was a big <laughs> loss for me though. Was uh, I I. I did take the Eagles over the Falcons. 
Yeah, I mean that's a that's a happy surprise. Though. It is for me. Yeah. For me personally, uh, the other happier surprise about it was that I thought the Falcons' offense finally looked like it was clicking. Yeah, and, and against a team with some of the better defensive players in the league, yes, too. So uh, Philadelphia is a great team, yeah. man. And um, you know they now that Breeze is out, yeah, could be competing for a, a, like a shot at the Super Bowl. There. I think it's. I mean, look, it's wide open. In the uh, look, because the Rams, Eagles and Rams are the only two teams I think can even make the Super Bowl. I don't the know, man. I, I still keep waiting for Jared Goff to pop, right? And he just hasn't week to week. They have a ton of weapons there, yeah. And he just hasn't really popped <laughs> yet. And uh, and we'll see how Gurley's knee holds up yeah. the whole year. Look, I picked the Rams in the Super Bowl. I'd be ants. If they did, yeah, be even more amps if the Falcons went, obviously. Well, but, uh, we'll see about that. Uh, and then the Browns, Jets, we called, um, and it was it was a f- another fantastic weekend. So I'm super fucking amped. Um, this weekend coming up is going to be brutal. Yep. Uh, we'll get to why in a second with these spreads. Again, go to mybookie.com. Uh, promo code Drinking Bros doubles your deposits all the way up to I think it's a thousand dollars now. We started. We started fucking really housing in the last couple of weeks, and I, they they knocked it down last year as well. Yeah. And it was like, eh, sorry, nothing we could do. Yeah, we um, do. And again, we don't get we only give a shit about we, the audience, you guys winning money. So I, I don't I don't really give a fuck about that. Um, but their part, their six team, uh, it was a guy, your buddy, won fucking twelve hundred fifty dollars. Jordan, Jordan, he picked yeah. that. What was it? Five eight games? I think it was was it with five a six or eight? point teaser. I think it oh, was. Oh yeah, yeah, that's he right. Only yeah. Put on like fifty bucks, and yep. I was like. Jesus and he Christ! Won, like after paying taxes on it, he won like a thousand bucks. It was of $50 amazing, bag, man. Yeah. I, I was like, "Holy shit!" He posted it, man. I just want to give him a shout out. Yeah, yeah. like I don't think I've ever seen a teaser or that many teams and a teaser come through for fifty dollars. That was phenomenal. He's man. been he and uh, I think maybe Craig have been uh, betting all the fucking uh, picks, all the like no doubt picks right. of ours on this for the last two weeks so it worked one out of two times and, and here's what i will say man look take our advice but also use your own head uh f- for what you want to bet because some of you guys know, know these teams you know they're your homer teams right yeah um you know i had a bunch of vikings fans right in they were like i can't believe you take the vikings at green bay it's just a, it's not a thing um that it's ever works not out. but i mean it should have been should have been i thought i look i still believe in the vikings so we'll see um, but uh, next up, we get ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Uh, mattresses, pillows, get them. If you're military first or first responder, you get 15% off forever. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, take it, click it, and rip it. If you're a regular civilian like myself, they got those bundle packages for $7.99. Uh, adjustable base, pillow, mattress, all inclusive. Um, and uh, shit, man. I think the Ghost Lux mattress is $200 off and free pillows. As always, at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. There is a pay-as-you-go program, 36 months, no interest. Uh, Man. Man, that's a deal. It's a deal. Uh, Let's get into damn spreads, shall we, for the week? Uh, By the way, here's Cleveland's schedule for the next five weeks. Thank you. Uh, Chargers at Baltimore, at San Francisco, Seattle, uh, at Patriots. So you're going to lose probably every single one of those games, Cleveland. Man. Like, I don't see – maybe they win the uh, San Francisco game, mm-hmm. maybe. But I don't think they can beat any of these other teams. At the, at the way, with the way they're playing right now, they're not going to beat any of these teams. Mm. So right now they're 1-1. One one. If they don't – Yeah, man. Like, there's they a good go to one chance. They could go 1-6 and six real quick. There's a good chance they could go to 1-6, and six, and then your season's over. Yep. Because you're not making any playoffs with that record. We'll see. I, look, this was this is a hunch of mine, based on Baker Mayfield and the difference between last year and this year with him, man. Uh, I think I think they could, man. I think they could go 0 five in those next game. Uh, like it's yeah, it's very possible. The good news is is that things start to soften up a little bit after that. They play after that, yeah. They play at Denver, which is not easy. But then they play uh, and they play the Bills at home, which again is not another. That's another not easy it's game. Not easy, man. But then they play Pittsburgh twice. I, I look not easy. They just picked up Micah Fitzpatrick. We'll and, see. We'll see how that quarterback does. And they play it's still a rivalry game, and that's a oh, tough, yeah, yeah. Those are tough, man. They play each other tough. And they play the Dolphins, and they still play Arizona and the Bengals twice. So mm-hmm. there's games to be won there, but 
if they go one and six out of the gate, yeah, an, it's that's a pretty much fucking wrap that's, on that's that it. season. That's it. That's uh, that's where I'm leaning. I'm leaning uh, two and five. I think they get one of those. I don't yeah. know which one. I think they beat uh, probably the 49ers. Maybe. Is it at home? Is it at Cleveland? No. It's in San Francisco. Maybe know. maybe they beat Seattle at home. Uh, beating Seattle at home is tough, man. No, no, no. Seattle and Cleveland. Oh, it's in Cleveland. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. Look, Seattle just flew uh, cross country for that Steelers game. Now they got to go back and then yep. go back. So maybe. Uh, let's get to the uh, NCAA football spreads. Um, first up on Friday night, number 10, Utah against USC. Yeah, I was I was wrong on this. I rode the hot hand on USC and that freshman. The spread is minus four here for Utah. Um, uh, it's in USC. That's I'm sure that's part of it. But it is to me. This feels like a trap game. Yeah. And I, I don't bet on this game. No, I'm man. not betting it either. I don't believe in Utah that much. And look, if that kid from USC shows out again, I mean, they lost in yeah. overtime last week. Um, so this, it's Slovis. This could this could go either way in this one, man. It's it's a it's Friday night. It feels like a trap game to me. I would I would probably bet the second one, uh, which is Air Force at Boise State. It's uh, what what do you got? Eight 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 points. Um, I always bet on Boise. Yeah, uh, it's in. It's might not on, always win, but I always bet on Boise. It's, it's on Boise blue turf, so it's, it's on the Smurf <laughs> turf. Uh, this is not an easy game for sure. But uh, I'm going to take Boise uh, minus eight on this one, um, seeing as how they fucked me last week at, uh, what was it, or the, or the week before? Uh, yeah, the week 14-7. before, yeah. So um, I'm, I'm still going to stick with Boise and, and take this eight. Uh, maybe, maybe, buy, maybe buy a point because I'm feeling flirty. Maybe. And knock that down. To, yeah. uh, cause you get, by the way, on mybookie.com, you can buy points. You can buy shit. You can go money line. You can do whatever you want on yeah. this one. So. <clears throat> Might buy a point and a half. I'll take this down to six and a half real quick and just call cool. it a day. It's just because it's Friday. I'm yeah. home finally. I'm feeling flirty. Uh, I might go with that. What do you got? Um, yeah, I think Boise State has got eight points. I think I think it's a 10-point game. Yeah. Uh, next up, Southern Mississippi against Alabama. Another. It's 39 on my bookie right now. I'm not <sighs> betting this. I'm not betting 39. I don't I'm not give betting a shit 39 is. either, man. Alabama, sh- just play one person. This yeah. is crazy now, man. 39 points. Fucking A. Uh, and next up, we got LSU at Vanderbilt. Um, LSU minus 23. I've got it at 24. I on, went on, up. On my bookie hand. People like, are betting LSU, man, a yeah. lot this year. Um, <laughs> I mean, they look pretty good. But. I know. They look pretty goddamn good. Uh, 24 is a lot. No, of I points, went down to, it went down to 23 now. Uh, so last night it was at 23 and a half. Went up to 24 this morning, and now it's back down to 23. A lot of people are betting on this fucking game. It's tough, man, because Vandy's a tough out. I'm not bet, I'm not. I don't give a shit. It's at Vanderbilt. I'm not giving LSU 23 points. There's no fucking way. No, but I'm, but I'm also not betting oh, hell against no. LSU because they are that good this year. Yeah, they're that good. They may do it, but you know, this is like... It's a tough one. It's very close to being a fucking rivalry game. The Vanderbilt is 0-2 so far, but they're one of those teams that always knocks off one or two people in the SEC every year. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Um, man, that, that, that's a tough one. Uh, Tennessee is next up at Florida. Spread is minus 14. This would have been a lot higher had uh, Florida not lost their I'm still taking it. Tennessee is the worst fucking football program on earth. They're horrible. Here's what I'm going to do, though. By half by a point, one, yeah. Just, by just, half, yeah. Just in case, I'm gonna knock this down to thirteen and a half, and I'm gonna do this right after the show airs. Yeah, same tonight. Uh, next up, th- th- to me, there's two games of the week this week um, that I'm really fucking amped about. Um, one is this this game that I wish was not on at noon, but it is. It's Michigan <coughs> at Wisconsin. Um, both teams obviously undefeated. This is uh, Wisconsin minus three and a half at home. Michigan has not looked good. Uh, Wisconsin has actually looked very good, but they haven't really played anybody. No. So where do you go with this, I don't. Anthony? I don't bet. See, I, I'm just not betting this game. These are two. Last year, Wisconsin was one of the most inconsistent teams, mm-hmm. and their team is not very much different this year than it was last year. Uh, and Michigan, this so far this year, look, they look like shit. Yeah. They yeah. do not look good. They're 2-0, no. and, and oh, but they... <laughs> They're two and zero against fucking bullshit, and they honestly, if they had played any real teams yet, I think they would have lost. 
already. Yeah. Well, look, Wisconsin hasn't <laughs> either, so they haven't played any real teams. So I, here's what I'm going to do on this one. Uh, buy half and just... I'm actually going to. It's three and a half right now. I'm actually going to buy one point and go to, go down to two and a half because I do think this is a close game and it's probably a field goal. And this is it's a gut one on this one. Uh, I've, I'm usually wrong on Michigan spread, so if you're at home, take. Whoever you want on this one. Um, I cannot figure this Michigan team out. I obviously picked them for the playoffs this year, and they do not look anywhere near a playoff team. But Wisconsin has looked good the first two weeks, so I'm going to knock this down to two and a half and take whiskey minus two and a half in this one. Um, Just to do it, because this game's going to be fun to watch, man. I'm amped about it. Uh, California against Ole Miss. Cal snuck in there. Uh, it's not in the top 25 this week. They're 23. Um, they kicked the shit out of. That's a uh, soft 23. A real soft 23. Um, boy, they uh, they kicked the shit out of me in a, in a spread a couple weeks ago. They're playing Ole Miss at Ole Miss. And uh, the line <laughs> is Ole Miss minus two and a half. I'm going to take Ole Miss in this game. Same. Um I think uh, Cal's a pretender. They don't belong up there. No, and look, man, it, people show out for Ole Miss. Uh, it's a hard stadium to play in. Uh, next up is Ohio State um, against Miami of Ohio. Uh, that is a terrible game. Is this a rivalry game? <laughs> no, no, it's not. Uh, oh, Miami boy. of Ohio, what do they produce, uh, Ben Roethlisberger? That's it. Uh, so uh, congratulations on that. Um, the spread is 39 and a half. I, uh, the, I love you, Ohio State. You, everyone at home knows I love Ohio State. I do not touch a line, though, of fucking 39 and a half. I don't care who it is um, or how much I love well, them. They would have touched that line. They would have beat that line in both of their last two games. They would have. And, and they looked. They looked. And look, Miami, Ohio is not as good as Indiana or Cincinnati. Ohio Just State has looked for- phenomenal so far, <laughs> and I am amped about that. <laughs> However, I am not amped about a thirty-nine and a half point spread. Nah, fuck that. Nor will I take that. I don't. I mean, that's it's six touchdowns, man. Mm. You have to hope for six touchdowns. Well, honestly, then... the way Ohio State's defense has played so far this year, I don't think Miami Ohio will score any points. Probably not. They may. They may have one, maybe two field goals. I very much doubt they'll score a touchdown. Probably not. Yeah. Um, so I think you're probably safe taking this if you want to take a runner on it. Uh, but I'm not personally I'm not. betting it. I, I'm not. And I, look, I love Ohio State. They've crushed for me the last two weeks. I've won a fuck ton of money off of them. I'm backing off a 39.5 point spread, though, however. Uh, number eight, Auburn at Texas A&M. Um, this game is under the radar. So you got the noon game with uh, Michigan and Wisconsin, which I'm looking forward to. I will flip over to this just out of curiosity, yeah. obviously, because this is an afternoon game where you're like, huh. I wonder what's going to happen there because it's Texas a- A&M has got a raw deal this year. They have yeah. to play all – look, this is their fourth team they're going to have to play inside the top ten, including the top three. Clemson, Alabama, and uh, LSU. Now they got to play Auburn. This one's at home, and uh, they're actually favored in this one at home. Um, and it's minus four. Auburn, though, is 3-0. and They've looked okay. Yeah, but, I mean, who have they played? They played Oregon week they one. They played Oregon, Oregon and they like should shit. have lost that game. Yeah, and they played Tulane and Kent State, man. Yeah. So, uh, for a 3.30 game in College Station, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'll lean towards Texas A&M on this one. I'll take A&M. Uh, yeah, I'm taking A&M. Look, they held Clemson to 24 points, man. Uh, I think they have they, – they may be the only team uh, in Texas that plays any defense right now. Yeah, because Texas isn't really well. They played some. They played a rough game yeah. against LSU. That was a tough game, but yeah, A and M looks good. Yeah, I, I... that's the bad thing about college football, though. They're pretty good because of their strength of schedule. They're going to lose probably two, maybe four, Three. maybe four games. Yeah, maybe four games. Right. So it's like they're fucked. I know. But for for having a great schedule. <laughs> Sorry, A and M fans, though. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. I, yeah, Jesus, man. But I, I'm, I'm going to take A and M in that game. Uh, next up, we got UCF at Pittsburgh. It is UCF minus 12 and a half. I have not picked a UCF spread correctly this year. Me either. Um, look, I, 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 am, I know it's, it's Notre Dame's former quarterback and all that shit. Uh, I am starting to buy in, into the hype now that, that uh, you know, Who, they just have a good fucking program. Pickett, you mean? The quarterback? Uh, no, uh, the, the UCF as a whole. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, it is a name yeah. enough program they're, that they're getting decent recruits. Yeah, because they're winning big games, man. Yeah. Um, so, shit. I, I don't know. Look, Pittsburgh played Penn State close last week, which which I said, hey, that's that's a rivalry, it's a rivalry game. Yeah. It's it's going to be a close one. Uh, it's a two score game at Pitt. Nope. I have been wrong on UCF the entire. Year. I'm not betting that. Uh, I am going to, and I'm going to take UCF in this one. Uh, I will get on the train. I'll get on the train with you guys, man. I think this is a two-score game. I will I will definitely. I will do that, sir. I will do that. <laughs> I'll cleave on Buford this fucking game and do it. I will dicks. suck those dicks. Uh, next up, we got Washington at BYU. <clears throat> Don't care how you bring them. Just bring them young. I think this is a trap game, too. Washington minus six in this one. Washington is inconsistent. They're inconsistent. BYU, what beat the? Sh- they beat Tennessee, uh, but by a field goal each. Oof. And they lost to Utah by fucking twenty four points. Uh, I, I, this, this minus six here is saying, hey, this is a, a shitty game. Yeah. That they do not expect people to bet on. Therefore, they'll they'll tip it down to six here to tease you and try to get you cock teasy in it. And I'll take it. I'll yeah. take I'll take Washington. I think they win by seven. Uh, at least, but I think it's probably pretty close. Uh, next up, we got SMU against TCU. Yeah, look, I, I don't even consider this a top twenty-five matchup, so I'm not even paying attention to this game. SMU is undefeated, so is TCU. Yeah. Right? Uh, this is TCU minus nine in this game. They just entered the top twenty-five this week. How? Why? They played fucking Purdue and some school with too many fucking letters in their name to be important. Yeah. Yeah, I, look, d- t- to me, this weekend's slate of games, besides the three yeah. mentioned, <clears throat> are, are shitty, man. Um, all the top schools are playing shitty schools. And, uh, you know, again, Michigan, Wisconsin, uh, this night game I'm looking forward to, and then you have this A&M Auburn game that I'll flip over to. The rest of these are really shitty games, yeah. man. Um, I, I guess I don't feel like betting <laughs> TCU at 25. No, fuck that. I don't fucking care. Um Prove something, stay there, and let's see. Traditionally, they're pretty goddamn good. Uh, Oregon against Stanford. Oregon this is actually an 10. interesting game. It is. Because of the spread. I yep. don't think this is a 10-point game. I think Stanford is going to break this open. Not. I don't think they're going to win, uh-huh. but I think this is, it may be a 3-7 to seven point game because it's in Stanford. Oregon, look, man, I, I, I just don't believe in Oregon at all. I, Stanford just got rocked. They did. Weekend. By they UCF. Did. I mean, just absolutely fucking creamed. But Oregon only put up 35 points against Montana. They did. They did. Um, I <coughs> ah, Fuck you, Oregon. I said I would never bet on Oregon. I'm oh, not, I'm not I'm betting. Not, I'm not going to. No, fuck these guys. I will. I just, I think that they're, I don't think that uh, if you're out there in a, you're a, if you're a fucking California resident, live in Palo Alto. Yeah, and you're a fan of Stanford. I don't know anyone actually who's a fan of Stanford who didn't go with it at school. I don't either. But if you're that person, I would probably take that bet on Stanford just to make it a little more interesting. But fuck Oregon. Yeah, I, uh, 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 no. I want to see Oregon play. Actually, you know what I want to see? I want to say see Clemson play the Dolphins. I want to see. Oh, right now? Yes. Clemson wins. Or maybe in four weeks Clemson when wins, the Dolphins maybe, yeah. have gotten rid of the rest of their players. Mm-hmm. People used to say that about the Hurricanes. Remember in the early 2000s? I want to see the Miami Hurricanes play against the NFL team. Look, Ken Dorsey wasn't good enough no. for that. But if they had had one Lawrence of the, might be. Like, yeah. If they had had a guy who was actually an NFL quarterback, yeah. that would have been very interesting to very, see. Very, very interesting right now. Anyways. I'm sure that conversation will be uh, up for debate here in the upcoming week. Next yeah. up, we got Old Dominion at Virginia. Virginia minus 30 and a half. No uh, fucking no. way, dude. Get the fuck out of my face. Virginia has never been a fucking high-powered offense school. I'm not giving them fucking 30 and a half points. Nope. Uh, Charlotte at Clemson. Why? <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> oh, it's 41 and a half points. Um, I, you know what? I, I tell you what. Follow us on Drinking Bro Sports um, on Facebook. It's a private group. Um, just, you know, all you have to say is you heard about us on the podcast. What I'll do on a slate like this, on a Saturday slate like this that is super shitty, I'll take those plus six teasers on my bookie um, and just bet a bunch of these so I can take these spreads down uh, just to at least have some faith in it. Yes, does Clemson win probably by 42? You bet. Do I want (laughs) to 
do I want to try 41 and a half? No, I don't. I don't even want to do it for Ohio State, for Christ's sake. The problem is if it doesn't happen in the first half, then it doesn't happen because there's no incentive for for uh, Clemson to keep their guys, their starters in, yeah. to do that against a shitty team that they know they're going to beat. Ugh. Uh, next up, Oklahoma State. This, this is a fun game, at least. Oklahoma State uh, against Texas. It's it's Texas minus five. Yep. Um, man, it's going to be 92 in Austin. Mm-mm. Um, it's seven thirty at night, and this is like another any Texas versus Texas shootout. Or any Texas versus Texas or Texas versus Oklahoma, whether it's Oklahoma or State game, is essentially, in my opinion, a rivalry game. It doesn't matter what the matchup right. is. Right? I don't ever fucking I don't like any of those games, and I'm not betting on this one either. I am. I, I am. I'm going to take Texas in this one. Um, I, I I believe in Texas. I do. I really do. And I think this is a, a one touchdown game. Five is is probably where. <laughs> This should be, um, but this could be a fucking shootout. Uh, it's on ABC at 7.30. Yeah, there's no over posted for any of these games, by the way. That's why we're not covering that shit. I don't know why. Like, well, I, I'll tell you why. This slate is so shitty today yeah. um, for these Saturday games that, to me, where do you put these overs? Because it's, it's like you said, man. Uh, let's take the Ohio State spread, yeah. just for example. Do I think Miami of Ohio scores in that game? No, I don't. But maybe, I also don't know. Maybe a field goal. Yeah. And so where, where do you put an over at for a, a team that is favored by 40? Do you put it at 49? Because that's essentially what you're saying right there is that, you know, yeah. it's a 42 or 45 <laughs> to zero game or maybe 42 to 40 or 42 to seven, yeah. somewhere in there. Like I wouldn't you, you can't put a spread on these. No. And uh, I don't know, man. It's shitty. Um, the, now, this next game is a blast. To watch, and this is it. It's at thirteen and a half now. Is it fourteen on my bookie right now? Did it go up or down? Stand it's by. It's Notre Dame at Georgia. This it's, one, I'm it's fourteen. I've been waiting for on this my one. Bookie. All right, so this this went up a half a point today. Um, I'm going to buy a half a point and take Georgia in this one. I fucking hate Notre Dame, and yeah. I don't think they have the team for this whatsoever. This is a night game in Athens. <coughs> Those fucking fans have been waiting for a, a game like this for a very long time. You Let's can tell it in the ticket prices. Wet. The cheapest ticket you can find is three hundred and twelve dollars. Correct. Eleven dollars right now. Again, Benny was on at the top of the show. Um, that's how to get tickets for this type of shit. And yeah. uh, I am amped about this. I want this game though at thirteen and a half, as I do believe it's probably a fourteen or seventeen point game. But it also wouldn't surprise me if it was a blowout. Like I, I don't know how Notre Dame is ranked <laughs> number seven. Um, but they definitely uh, do not deserve to, to be there. If they if they beat Georgia at Georgia, though, I will tip of the cap. Yep. Tip of the cap. But I think this is the game where I, I win that bet against that kid in the league about you know waving the fucking Notre Dame flag uh, for a whole year. Because yeah. uh, this is it. And they should knock them out of the playoffs and everything else. So I'm amped with that. Uh, to close out the top 25, we've got Colorado at Arizona State. Uh, minus seven and a half. Look, I picked Colorado the week before uh, to to win, and uh, they ended up doing so. Um, and it was a, it was a nice little upset pick here, but uh, they lost to Air Force last week. So I, I, going into Arizona State, it's like, man, that's a night game. It's a seven seven o'clock game. Ladies are going to be out in that. You know, I hate doing that. Yeah, but Denver to Phoenix is like. That's like a fucking hour and a half flight. I know it is, but you know I hate doing it. You know I hate doing it. Betting against Arizona State. I don't want to watch this game. I don't either. To be Um, honest. I might take it down, though, a point for the ladies of Arizona State and get get this at six and a half just to do it. Um, But uh, the big bulk (laughs) of my money this Saturday is going on Georgia, to be honest with you, 13 and a half. I'm buying that half a point. Uh, Lastly, UCLA against Washington State. Washington State is favored by 18 and a half. Um Washington State's uh, only won by a touchdown last game. UCLA is fucking awful. I don't know what they do with uh, Chip Kelly and these guys. Yeah, but, um, bad. Uh, sure, if you're up late and this is your because this is this is essentially your Hawaii game this week. Yep. It's the last game of the night. If you need to pick up some some fucking losses throughout the day. Um, but for me personally, <laughs> this is not a big gambling Saturday because the the matchups and the spreads are too shitty. Some of these are tight, and I feel like there's a lot of trap games. This feels like a trap weekend yeah. in college football. My money is going on that fucking Georgia game. That's where I'm going all in at. 
Uh, let's head over to the NFL, shall we, Anthony? Um, after two big back-to-back hey, weeks. Hey, wait. Before we move on to the NFL, mm-hmm. um, something just happened. Hold ah, we get some breaking news. Yeah. Fuck, where did it go? Just move on to the NFL. Well, I'll pick it up in a sec. D'Anthony, you can't cock tease an audience and then just... I can do whatever I want, brother. And then just walk away like that. Uh, the Titans and the Jaguars are the Thursday night game. Ugh. Um, is there, do you have the number for a suicide hotline? Yeah. Here's the thing I was going to say. So, so far this season, Oklahoma's Jalen Hurts, yeah. who has had what, what some could call a tumultuous college career. He did really well. Then he got benched. Yeah. Then he came back. Speculation. Now he's fucking killing it. Right. He is responsible for more touchdowns than incompletions so far this season. Wow. That's a big boy stat. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. That's fucked up. It's like, uh, wow, dude. Good job. It'd be hilarious if he beat two out for the Heisman. <laughs> oh, man. How fucking, fucking great, great would that be? <laughs> great. Uh, look, I enjoy watching that team play. That yeah, Oklahoma great. team play. Anyways, back to the suicide. Um, yes, for, so for this Titans-Jaguars game, this is Tennessee minus two in this game. Um, this is in Jacksonville. There's uh, only one reason to watch. There's two reasons to watch this game. One, you hate yourself. If you Well, you to see family. if Minshew is actually a good quarterback. Yeah. Because maybe, maybe he is. Yeah. I don't think he is, but maybe he is. The other reason is Derrick Henry, and if you have him in fantasy. In fantasy. That's the only reason to watch this fucking game. I don't care what the spread is. I'm not watching or this. Or to see if Jalen Ramsey punches his coach again like he did last week or <laughs> whatever he did to his fucking arm. But this is the worst, one of the worst games you could ever have. Um, look, I, this isn't the NFL's fault. This was supposed to be Foles. Uh, yeah. Nick Foles in this game and, uh, and Mariota and, you know. Fuck, that's a brutal game, though, isn't it? I mean, that's it's awful. The over under is thirty nine. I haven't seen an, an under that low in the NFL this season. So that's far. pretty low. That is really, really low. Yeah, this is a fantasy football watch, and uh, you know, maybe throw throw a, a, a fiver on it just because you know you're at a bar somewhere. But Jesus Christ, Dolphins Ravens was thirty seven and a half week one. That's the lowest so far this year. But this is pretty goddamn close. Terrible game, yeah. Uh, next up, we got the Bengals <laughs> at the Bills. Look, man, Bengals have looked like shit. Bills look pretty goddamn good. Sort of. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for them. They have a good defense. Yeah. A great defense. Josh Allen is a gamer. That that kid has got a fucking heart on him. They just don't have, like, who are they throwing the ball to there? I don't know. They're, it's, they're, it's Cole Beasley. Cole, so Cole Beasley has, like, nine catches in the first two games, right? Yeah. Uh, they're they running have Zay back. Jones. Zay Jones is supposed to have a great year this year, but I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it either. The running back is Frank Gore. He's 36 years old. He is, and he's lighting it up. <laughs> I don't know how this team is winning, but they are winning, and Josh Allen is a blast to watch. It's in Buffalo. They're 2-0. Oh. What's, eh. what's the spread? Eight? No, it's six. I'll, I will, I will take, I'll te- I'll take Buffalo. Oh, it's six. Yeah, I'm taking Buffalo. For, for one touchdown. I just one want, touchdown I want the fucking Bills Mafia just to have a good I just want them week. to be good because we actually want to go there and hang out with you guys and party and watch a game. Yeah. Uh, I just want you guys to be good. So I'll, I'll do that. Uh, Dolphins at Cowboys. This, these spreads, man, are going to continue all throughout the year with the Dolphins. 21 and a half. Buckle up. <laughs> Here's what I think. I think the Cowboys probably score somewhere between 24 and 35 points uh-huh. in that range and I don't think the Dolphins score at all. So I'm going to bet this. I'm taking the, I'm I'm going to bet an NFL spread at 21 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds like Dan are you back on the drugs? Well, I never stopped doing drugs. So don't yes. worry about that part. Yep. But no, I'm not on drugs currently. I just I think the Dolphins are that bad and I think that oh. the Cowboys defense is that good. That's what I think. I do too. Look, there's no way the Cowboys offense is not going to score 22 points. Yeah. And I don't think that the fucking Dolphins can score. I, uh, I, I'm with you, man. I Did you ever think you would see the day where you bet a 21 and a half fucking spread I didn't in the think NFL? I'd, 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 I'd see it anymore. Um I thought that I thought the NFL had too much parity for this type of shit. This is these are the worst spreads I've ever seen. Um I think the Dolphins might be an historically bad team. I, I, here's, Not, what, here's what here I'll split the difference on this game. I will bet the first half, which will probably be in the thirteen and a half range. Um, I will bet the first half on this game, but uh, well, do you see it? Let's look it up. NFL first half. Yeah. Lines. I, I, oh, they don't have it for. They they won't. They'll have it towards the end of the week. Yeah. But um, again, just looking at it and guessing it. 
It's probably going to be around 13, 13 and a half. Um, hmm. I, I'll, I'll do the first half just to do it in this one. <laughs> but, uh, man, 21 and a half points is so <laughs> fucked. But I, 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 you're right. I think they actually do do oh, it. Oh, yeah. I don't think the there's any question. And, and by the way, with the, the Patriots last week, yeah, I actually I believe they would do yeah. that and beat them. But I, I cannot. There's some rules, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we got to have some laws. I had to let it go for another week to see how bad the Dolphins are. But I am convinced now that they're that bad. And honestly, I think this is a lock, which sounds crazy for a fucking uh, for a spread that high. But I think it's a lock. OK, OK. That, that is Dan's I'm, lock. I'm betting the farm on this one. Uh, that is Dan's lock. I'm going um, to go. go I'm going to go one thousand dollars on this. And you'll put it on Drinking Bros oh, yeah. Sports. Okay. Yep. Okay. I like that. Uh, next up, we got Broncos at the Packers. Ugh. This, this is a tough, tough game for this me. This is man. a game that I'm going to watch but not bet on. And I'm going to watch it because I, I want Aaron Rodgers to be better. This, he's going up against a great defense yeah. here. Um, but it's at home again. It's the second week at home. Maybe he gets comfortable this week. If he doesn't have a good game this week, then I think maybe it's time to, one, get him off of your fantasy team. Or trade, I, or, tr- trade him. Trade yeah. him. You know what's funny? I tried to trade Aaron Rodgers uh, over the weekend. No, yeah. one, no one took him. No one wants that motherfucker. No man. one. It's cra- I've never seen like it. <laughs> um, mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Um, and, and what is it? Minus eight? It is. I'm, I, Actually, my bookie's got a seven and a half. I, I could, yeah. I was just going to say, I would, I'm, I would take the Broncos on this one. No, I'm not going to bet against the Packers again. At home? Okay. I'm not going to bet it, but I I think that they probably win by 10 points. I, I, and here's something to watch. Um look, the Broncos D, our offense is not great, but they should score in a game like this probably somewhere between 17 and 24 points. So if they get held to less than that, then I think there might be something going on with Green Bay's defense that we haven't keyed in on yet. Maybe. That's something just to watch. Maybe. I, I, I'd like to see Royce Freeman and, uh, and Philip Lindsay against this and see what happens. Yeah. Um, I'm, I, I, I'm going to take the Broncos in this one, I think. But I'm going to take those eight points. Um, you said seven and a half now? Uh, it's seven and a half. People are betting game. the Broncos, I'm telling you, man. There's something wrong with Aaron Rodgers. I don't know what it is. Um, he's got like sickle cell or something. Uh, yeah, maybe. Falcons at the Colts. <laughs> Indianapolis minus two. I'm 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 in on the the Falcons now. Taking the Falcons on that. Taking one. Taking the yeah. Falcons. I'm in on the Falcons. It's on turf. Um, fucking Calvin Ridley, man, has been just as good as advertised. He was he was another one of my big sleepers. Um, Julio Jones. <coughs> it, it looks good. This offense looks like it's humming. Um, I'm gonna take him, man. My my worry is Devonta Freeman. Um, he is still looks shitty to me. Yeah. And the Falcons need a running game. Yeah. Uh, Ido Ido Smith, Smith hasn't really been getting a whole lot of touches. It, no. And he, oddly enough, he, it, when he when he has had the ball, he hasn't looked that great. No. But Matt Ryan um, to to Julio and uh, and fucking Hooper, the Austin Hooper's looked good. And uh, Calvin Ridley, I'm I'm going to take the uh, Falcons in this one this week. Um, man, next up, this is a great game. Great game. Ravens at the Chiefs. Why? For exactly the reason that Anthony mentioned earlier. Is Lamar Jackson just stealing game tape from Mahomes? Yeah. Man? I hope he is because imagine having two of those guys in the same league. Holy Woo. shit. Like, uh, this if, is... if there was a second Steph Curry in the NBA and once or twice a season they matched up against each other, the ratings for that, like forget about this year. If, if this motherfucker keeps playing like that all season long, mm-hmm. And Mahomes keeps being Mahomes, and it seems like that sophomore slump shit just doesn't apply to him for some yeah. reason. Then next year's matchups are going to be fucking great. Uh, banana dicks. <laughs> I'm a, this is KC minus six and a half. That's a tease too. I don't. Uh, I don't bet against KC. No, at home. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy t- half a point on that one. Then I'm gonna take it down to six. I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna take the Chiefs. They win by a touchdown on this one. Um, they just keep seem to to reloading there. Uh, that, that Robinson kid, Jesus Christ, man! Uh, didn't Tyreek Hill? The Tyreek Hill injury is not affected. No, Mahomes it's up to seven, by the way. One bit. You goddamn right it is, because there people are fucking betting the Chiefs. I'm gonna, I'll take. I'm gonna look at home. Get this to six and a half. <coughs> uh, next up, we got Raiders at the Vikings. Minnesota minus eight in this one, man. I I was wrong about Minnesota last week, obviously. Um, 
eight points, man. Nope. I do not take this game. No, thank you. I don't take this game. I, it, I, I think it's probably a one-score game. The Raiders haven't looked that bad um, after the A-B's shit, surprisingly. So, yeah, I'm going to sit off this one. Now, if this was six and a half, I would have said yes. I would have said yes. Mm. And I might end up buying a point and a half uh, as we get closer. Go, again, sign up for Drinking Bros Sports, and you can see our real bets because we're – we bet them, and then we just post the tickets there. Uh, I, I might try to get this down to six and a half later in the week um, and see if I can. See how it goes. See how it goes. Uh, next up, Jets. Look, down to uh, any quarterback except Kaepernick at this point. Doesn't really matter. I want them to sign Kaepernick. I feel bad for Le'Veon Bell because he's, he's looked pretty goddamn good with the, this horrific team. This is Patriots minus 22 and a half. 23 and a half. Oh, this shot up a point. Yep. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Are you fucking kidding me? No. 23 and a half. Just talking about it? It shot up a. F- oh, my God, dude. <laughs> what do you do here? You took a spread at 21 and a half earlier. I'm deferring to you on this Look, one. the Patriots might be the best NFL team comparative or relative to its competition that we've ever seen. There's a decent chance of that. Because we've never seen. An Edelman and a fucking AB with a Tom Brady who's the best quarterback in NFL history. We've never seen anything like this before. No. Um, and, and but a- still, AB looked pretty goddamn good. Still, I don't think there's any. I don't. I don't. One. I don't think the Jets score a touchdown. I think they may get a field goal. Oof. Um. So look, that's twenty. Do you think the Patriots are going to score twenty six points, or do you do you think they're going to score? 23 and a half. Yeah, I, I, you know what's funny? I, dude, if you want my honest opinion, my honest opinion <laughs> is this. I think the Patriots probably cover at 22 and a half. I mm-hmm. think the Dol- or, uh, the, the Cowboys cover yeah. at fuck. Or, you said there's 23 and a half, right? 23 and a half. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think the Patriots <laughs> probably cover this. I, I think Dallas probably covers this. It's so many points for me to wrap my mind around that it is just so. I'm not going to bet this one, but I am going to watch man. this game. I'm going to watch it, but I, I, can't, I just know. That goes against all my betting principles is to bet an NFL game in double high double digits like this. That's crazy. Yep. But, yes, I probably think the win. So, if you're at home and you want to take these, do it. I mean, look. Fuck here, off. The deal is, is that Belichick has had basically two weeks to game plan against the Jets. Yeah. Um, because they played the Dolphins last week, and I doubt they even practiced. They probably say, like, yeah, we'll just play this one. Fuck it. No, so no. now Darno's out. They don't even know who the quarterback <laughs> is. And we saw what their the Jets quarterback can do against a good defense. Nothing. Uh-huh. So, uh, look, if you're a Pats fan, I, I guarantee you Pats fans are out there betting on this. I'm sure. Right now. sure and they I, w- are. I probably would be, too, if I was a Pats I'm, fan. I'm sure they are. But I'm not betting on that bullshit. Uh, next up, we get Lions at the Eagles. <laughs> minus six and a half for Philly. Um Look, man, Lions are, are 1 0 and 1 this year. Uh, Philly's been hit and miss, man. Uh, Deshaun Jackson got hurt last game. Yeah. Fucked me in fantasy. Um, so, uh, this is a tough game to bet. Actually. Alshon Jeffrey's questionable. Deshaun Jackson is questionable. So, I'm not going to bet this Wait game. Wait till later in the week and look and see what the health report <laughs> is for this. I mean, it's uh, going to change the line, though. Look, if those two guys will. play, it's going to be probably seven and a half. Correct. So, but, if you want to bet on it now and try to get this to six and a half, yeah. now's your chance if you think those guys are going to play because it's definitely going to go up. Um, if they don't, Lions have a shot at this. I think if, if those two guys don't play, Lions have a sh- actually a shot at winning the game. Uh, forget about the points. Um, Panthers, Cardinals. There is no spread in this because well, Cam Newton is, uh, unless they just posted it. Let's see. That's what I'm checking for. I think they pulled it. Yeah, Cam Newton is questionable, and uh, that was a, this. This was breaking news on this show. Yeah, there's so, no spread right now. Yeah, uh, wait, wait till the end of the <laughs> before, week. Before before Cam Newton was out, it was Panthers minus two and a half. Ugh. Like I don't look. The only reason to watch this game is to see what Kyler, Kyler Murray, Murray does. Kyler and, uh, and McCaffrey. Christian for, Kirk, for yeah, McCaffrey. Fantasy, yeah. That's it. I'm not. There's no way. Even at, in optimal circumstances, I'm not betting on that game. Um, Giants uh, at the Buccaneers in the 4 o'clock game. It's, it's another Tampa Bay minus 6.5. Fucking bullshit game. Uh, yeah. You got the <laughs> Danny Dimes in this one. Uh, look, man. Look, I, actually, if I, was, if I was planning to bet on this game, I would probably take the Giants. Because I think no one's seen this kid yet, mm-hmm. and he's he seems to be pretty good. Mel Kiper likes him. He's yeah, very wow. rarely wrong about NFL guys, um, but uh, 
There's no fucking way because I don't want to watch this shit. I don't want to watch this game. Um, uh, at the same time as this game, there's Texans at Chargers, which is a great fucking game. It's a great one. And there's Steelers at 49ers, which could be, if that kid Rudolph plays well, that could be a good game too. So fuck that. It could be. So uh, look, I'm going <laughs> to stay away from the Giants, Buccaneers. Uh, Texans, Chargers, though. Um, this is a fun game. It's uh, Chargers minus three and a half at home. Uh, Austin Eckler has looked amazing. Um, Chargers are coming off a loss to, uh, uh, fuck, man, the Lions, dude. So, um, I, look, the Texans have all the pieces on offense to put this together, man. I'm going to take the Texans in this game. Um, let's see. It's down to three. So people are obviously betting on, on, the, on the Texans. I'd like to get that back to three and a half, so I'm going to wait. Yeah, I'm going to wait on this one. No, no, nothing for me yet on this one. I'm going to take the Texans. Carlos uh, Hyde looks great this year, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go with the Texans on this one, man. I feel and and feel confident about it. Yeah, uh, stick it up people's butts. Uh, next up, we got Steelers at the 49ers. Curious to see Mason Rudolph play, right? Yeah, this is another game when when a new guy comes in like this. I don't bet these games because I just don't know what the fuck's going to happen. No, I think the 49ers will probably win though. Yeah, uh, look this this weekend slate <laughs> is tough all the way around. Um, to be honest with you, this is a trap weekend all the way around. Yeah, uh, I am going to watch this game because I'm curious to see if uh, the 49ers might be for real, and I also want to see if Mason Rudolph is good because I'm going to pick him up off the waiver wire. Yeah, um, in football uh, for the fantasy. Uh, next up, Saints at Seahawks. This is Seahawks minus four right now. This is a game that two weeks ago would have been like, oh, oh shit, I'm definitely going to watch this game. Yep. But now, n- not a chance. Not going to watch it. No I'll, way. And I'm, I'll take it a step further. I hate Seattle. I hate watching them play. I never <laughs> really bet on them in real life. I'm actually going to bet on the Seahawks in this game because I think Teddy Bridgewater sucks. He's bad. Uh, even with Michael Thomas and Alvin Kamara. I don't know. Look. No. And and the Seahawks defense is pretty good. Yes, so. I, I I think they win by seven, and I'm fine with this. I can't believe it's this low. I'm going to take the Seahawks. There's one guy who sends me a picture of Russell Wilson doing gay shit every time they win. <laughs> no, it's literally like the gayest post yeah, yeah, he's, ever of all time. Um, he's and it's secretly really gay. fucking funny, and I enjoy it. But this week, you're not going to be able to send me that because I'm betting on the Seahawks. Uh, next up, we got Rams at the Browns. This is Rams minus two and a half in this one. I am. All in on the Rams Rams. in this one. Um, Sorry, Cleveland. I know this is in Cleveland. Uh, I wonder if Aaron Donald is healthy. It's up to three now. Yeah. Uh, uh, Look, I don't know if Aaron Donald's healthy and he's going to play or not. Either way, I don't give a shit. Um, The Rams' defense is nasty. Uh, Baker Mayfield hasn't looked that great to me. and um, Not yet. uh, They could get their panties pulled down in this one. So I'm going to get this now. Uh, (laughs) Yeah. Because I really like the Rams. In Aaron Donald's not even on their list anymore, so I think he's good to go. He's gonna probably rip little Baker's arms off. I think rip I his anus that out. And, uh, maybe yeah, I predicted that. I said he was gonna break his collarbone this game. Oh, yeah, that's true. In yeah. Preseason a few weeks back. Uh, last but not least, um, Bears Trubisky at the Redskins. Tough week, man. Tough week for football. This is Chicago minus four at the Redskins. No, I'm good. Uh, you know. I mean, look, the Terry Redskins are, look great. Redskins are pretty bad. Uh, Redskins are terrible. Uh, Guise is out. Yeah. Jeez, Guise. Um, he's gone. Uh, the Yes, the Bears should win this game, man. Um, but Trubisky has looked terrible, so I, I really don't know. I really don't know what to do on this one. I'm going to bet it, though, because it's the Monday night game, and I'm going to take the Bears in this one, uh, that they win by at least a touchdown. I'm curious when uh, – because, look, Case Keenum is not actually looking that terrible. He hasn't he's thrown not, any – he hasn't thrown any picks, throwing five touchdowns in, in uh, two games. Yeah. Looks all right, but, like, what's the – I don't know, man. Yeah. You you spent your first-round draft pick on a guy who threw 50 fucking touchdowns in college football last year. Why is he not playing? Agreed, sir. Agreed. So, here's where we're at. Uh, this, this weekend, to me, in betting, mm-hmm. is a trap weekend. There's not a lot of great bets to be had. <laughs> There's a couple really, really good bets, though, and um, I, would, I would bet more on those games rather than volume, where yeah. usually there's a fuck ton of great games where you're like, all right, I like this one and this one and this one. I think this is a trap weekend all the way around um, in college and the NFL, and, uh, you know. You going to bet on the uh, WNBA playoffs at all? Probably not. Probably going to sit that out for the rest of my life. So <laughs> never going to bet that. Uh, Benny. 
Benny the Ticket Guru, hit him up. Thank you for being on the show today. Uh, that was a blast. D'Anthony. Yep. Um, I'm going to make some bets with you on Drinking Bros Sports on Facebook, and uh, we'll, we'll start doing that at the end of the week. Yeah. I'm going to do some teasers this week, some weird ones, just to have fun with this because it's a trap weekend, man. Uh, and follow us for you know on, on that page for up to the minute, last second bets. We always post them on there uh, from mybookie.com. Promo code Drinking Bros doubles your deposit. For D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway, I am Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros Sports Companion Show. Uh, a good night, sir. Uh.